AI is taking over the world. There's no reason to panic. If you're not living under a rock, you will know that AI is super popular these days and definitely in the world of art. With the rise of AI generators like Midjourney and Dolly 2, you can create stunning pieces with a simple prompt or a click. It couldn't be easier. Now Paul Trillo really understood the assignment and is using AI to his fullest potential. And you see, we here at Cinecom really love such cool effects. With our small experience using AI and making buildings doing crazy stuff, we accepted the challenge and we are ready to make Paul Trillo proud. <laughs> We're here. Yeah, I actually didn't need all of this. I just wanted to look cool, you know? Now that we have our shot, we can finally start adding onto the building and we'll be using Dolly for that. Dolly is a text to image generator and recently they released a new feature called Outpainting. Basically, it allows you to add onto existing images or in our case, we can delete a part of our building and let it generate a whole new level. This new feature is going to use all the information in your image together with the keywords you give it and based on that is going to generate the new image. But in our case, it's a bit difficult. As you can see, our building is very flat and gray and boring and doesn't have a lot of textures. So the result of that is that it's more difficult to generate exciting new parts. I tried pushing the result a bit further with this dome and it kind of works, but as you can see, it still looks weird. However, there is a solution. If you use an image of a building that is very interesting, lots of colors and lots of structure, it will work. Story Blocks to the rescue. The sponsor of today's video, Story Blocks, has an ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets. And guess what? Here you can find the most interesting buildings you can imagine. Like colorful churches, Asian temples, and even these cute houses from Denmark. And of course, you can find all these stock assets in HD to 4K resolution. Now, besides stock footage, various After Effects templates, epic music, and sound effects, you also have a creative maker tool from Storyblocks. With this easy to use tool, you can customize stock assets with some motion graphics, even create a small edit with multiple clips, and much more. And once you are happy, you can download your own creation. Plus, you can also download an endless amount of assets from the library with the unlimited all access plan. Meaning, you can download every clip they have and use it in your project. However, if you want, you can also check out other affordable plans. There's one for every need. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash Cinecom. I personally think AI is super cool and especially this new feature of Dali. So I played around with it and got some super cool things. I, for example, did some matte painting and changed the background of a shot. And I also have this weird sword morphing effect. So as you can see, there are endless possibilities to use AI in your workflow. But that makes me wonder, did you guys ever play around with AI? And if so, what did you guys create? Let me know in the comments down below. And now back to Janik. So for our effect, we chose this colorful lifeguard tower. And with Dali 2, I generated a bunch of cool extra stuff for it. I added some things on the side, on the roof, and kept adding to it. Dali 2 even generated this mermaid for us. Really cool stuff. Of course, I downloaded all the pictures I generated, and I can start animating them inside After Effects. To start, I first place our main lifeguard tower in a timeline. Before I do anything, I will freeze frame the tower clip so I can create my animations easier. We will bring back the motion and also do some tracking, but that I will do towards the end. Now that I added my first generated picture, which is an extension of the left wall, I of course need to place it on the correct place so it matches with the original clip. With a simple mask, I single it out and blend it with the original clip and then I add my second wall extension. Again, match the position and masked it out. This second clip will start two frames later than the first extension, creating a jump cut. This I will do three more times, making the wall transform to something new. Now you're probably thinking, those transitions look really bad. Well, don't worry, later on we will be using some frame blending to create smooth transitions between everything. For our next animation, I won't use hard cuts. This time I removed the little arch on the roof by singling out with a mask and animating it down. Then I animated our next generated picture, which is a purple roof ornament. The whole idea of this effect is that you can go as creative as you want. You can use a simple position or rotation animation, some hard cuts, whatever you want. I even use some puppet pin animations towards the end. Be creative is the message here. So for my next roof piece, I did this fun rotating bounce motion, bringing in a new part of the roof. If you want 
want to know which expression I used, I'll leave a link in the description below. We have a whole bunch of fun expressions to boost your animation workflow. Next, I want to transition to another roof ornament, but this step will probably be too harsh. So I animate the scale of my first roof piece to match with the second ornament, creating something like this right here. Then I again went for hard cuts to build the next part of the building. We are getting there guys! Last I added a bouncy window, a growing circular roof and a closing dome which changes style over time. And as you can see, all my animations are super simple and creative. But now let's add some magic to it all. I'm going to make it all slow motion and frame blend it together to make the animation smoother. But sadly I can't pre-compose everything together and use frame blending on the pre-comp. I first need to render it out. And once I rendered it out, I'll bring it back in After Effects. Of course. Here I will slow it down 4 times and enable the pixel motion frame blending. We will now have smooth transitions and animations. However, if you have any trouble getting it smooth, you can always use another AI to help you. And that other tool is Dane which is free and works super good. But okay, we have all these smooth animations, now let's bring back the motion and do some tracking. I just used our original lifeguard tower clip and will track the position and rotation for this clip. Then I will add the tracking data to a null object. Now we just have to place our pre-composed layer over our original shot, link it to the tracking data and voila we are done. Of course we can do some more fine tuning, but this is the main principle. And probably now you want to animate some more buildings, so maybe check out this video right there. Thank you guys for watching, thank you Storyblocks for the support, and as always, stay creative.